Welcome back, I'm Jordan Carson. This is Jordan's Protein Pow Wow Working Title, where consumers go for incredibly subjective reviews on protein snacks. Okay, a couple of notes before we start the show. So, um, I went through the video of a uh, one of my reviews two episodes ago. It was the Robert Irvine, I believe it was the Chocolate Peanut Butter Bar. Great bar, great episode. Phenomenal episode, in my opinion. I was charismatic and funny and quick on my feet, but... Uh, I went through the audio and the video, and uh, the mic picked up a lot, including me chewing very loudly, which kind of freaks me out. So, uh, while we do have a mic in front of us today, this is not connected. This is just for appearances, and uh, we're just going to try this without that. So, hopefully this time, you do not have to hear me chewing incredibly loudly to get your incredibly important protein snack reviews. Okay, it's a jury date in Austin, Texas, but that's all right. Because we got ourselves a fun, exciting protein bar to pick our day up. This is the Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Bar by 88 Acres. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it or remember. One of the best protein bars I have tried was the 88 Acres Banana... Banana Bread, I think? Some sort of banana protein bar. In my opinion, the best banana protein bar in the game. So it, this has got big shoes to fill. It's not banana -y today. Today it's dark chocolate sea salt. Let's see if we can... I see, someone told me this. Oh, it worked. Dark chocolate sea salt. Sea oat bar. All right, let's jump right into the tangibles. It's got 200 calories, but it only has 6 grams of protein. So that's like a 30 to 1 calorie to protein ratio. That's a trash ratio, guys. One of the worst ratios, if not the worst ratio we've seen so far on this show, uh, very important to all of you, I know. Saturated fat, it's got 13% of the daily values, so relatively low, but still, that, that's high for the amount of protein you're getting. Uh, the other stuff's kinda, eh, I don't really care. Uh, ingredients, so all the words here, all of them, I recognize on the ingredient list. Never a good sign. 88 Acres has pulled it out before, so holding my breath. Let's jump into intangibles. Oh yeah, first take. I am excited about this. So let's take a look at this for a second. That is just concentrated seeds and nuts. I'm curious how chocolatey it's going to be. Well, I'm not blown away. But something that might make it better is... Cold glass of Fairlife, Ultra Filter Skim Milk. Ultra Filter Skim Milk of Choice of Jordan's Protein Pow Wow, working title. Mmm. Doesn't do much, to be entirely honest with you. Okay, let's jump into it. Texture's interesting. I mean, it is just concentrated seeds. So literally, you're feeling the seeds come apart in your mouth a little bit. It's not a bad thing. It feels very authentic. Mmm. You can see chocolate chips lining it. It's a unique texture. I think of this actually a four. It's different, which I like. Taste. Yeah, there's not much here, guys. It's a little chocolatey. You're mostly just eating seeds. Let me give this a two. So, let's go through it. Tangibles. God awful tangibles. One out of five pals. Still trying the pow wow system, guys. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. One out of five pals. Not my type of protein bar. Um, if you can even call it a protein bar, it's a very existential question. Non tangibles, four for texture, two for taste. Guys, we're giving this a three. No, we're giving this a two out of five pow wows. Oh, breaks my heart. 88 Acres, swinging on a miss on this one. Until next time. Huh?